yeah this looks really small but interesting so we'll see what happens i'm gonna go in right now and talk to the pro so we're looking for jerry butler is this the guy I've never been here. Downstairs. Never been here. Oh, there he is. Yep. Jerry? Hey. Hey. This place is nice. I've never been here. How are you? Good. How Zach. are you? Great to meet you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Jerry. He's the, the main man here, right? You do everything here, right? Uh, general manager, a little bit of everything, yeah. Cool. Yep, we're uh, nine hole. We're rated the number one nine hole golf course in the CGA, Colorado Golf Association. So number one out of the CGA you said in Colorado? Yep. Well, the course was built in 1956. Mm -hmm. So Jerry, tell me why how, Why do you love golf and how did you wind up here? It's a good story. I I own Blue Sky Ski Rental. Okay. Uh, this will be my 35th season owning Blue Sky Ski Rental. And back in the day, I wasn't working during the summers at all, just doing ski. And Greg Gortzma, who was a, uh, became the head pro here uh, back in, I think it was 90, so oh, you've 95, been here a long, you've been here a long, you've been here a long time. He needed somebody to work 10 hours a, a week. And I said, I could do that. It went from 10 hours a week to a little more to a little more. And now I've been the general manager for the last five years. Awesome. What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed the last video. Make sure you leave comments, like the video. Uh, here we go. This is the second episode versus the 103rd overall. Uh, Jerry's not your typical club pro, but uh, still a good player. Really nice guy. He's done a lot for this club. They are number one rated nine hole course in Colorado. So if you're anywhere in the western slopes, you got to check this place out. Fun little track right up against the mountain. So let's get into the action here. Short par four to start. <laughs> that made a good shot here Thank leaving you. myself with a straight up hill Darius has a 60 yarder here and uh, this is when I noticed he is old school he's going for that little bump and run shot turned out pretty decent uh, looks pretty pretty good nice shot there Sit. Wow, are they fast? That's the are they pretty hill. quick? Is it the hill? Yep. All right, so walking up, Jerry's got about a 30 footer from off the green. Guys, leave a comment if you want me to do the voiceover on these videos. I released two on the last episode, oh, one with That's good. Uh, and one without, so good leave far. a comment. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you know any local club, club pros that want to play me or anyone in the golf industry, uh, reach out to me on social media, okay? That's a good bird to start. I'll take that any day. Bad luck when I make a birdie on the first hole, but you never know. All right, coming up here, we got a straightaway par five. A little bit of a dog leg on the right. Now, he told me to watch out for the trees. Course is pretty simple. For the most part, it's wide open, but if you get behind these trees, Definitely could create some problems. Uh, pretty good hole here. Well, mine wound up behind the trees. Ah, uh, good ball. Right down the middle. Jerry does what he always does and just hits it down the middle. And another good shot right on the back of the green. Now he's putting for eagle. 150 in. I'm going to try to draw it around there, maybe. 
This was the dumbest move all right. of all time. Uh, lesson for everybody, don't try to hit shots that you're not capable of. If I was caddying for anybody, I would have said just pitch it out left. Instead, <laughs> try to hit some big high draw. No, that was stupid. Dumb move. Ah, oh, grab the second. I mean, went from bad to worse, and at this point, he's already up there. No, I'm not going to win the hole, so pretty much right. just gave it up. So here we go. Back Got to some even. work to do. Jerry chunked it a little bit. He's got a little work to do. Got a perfect number for a wedge here, 150. Just absolutely striped, and I'm thinking this is just money. Right, Jerry had a good shot, just landed off to the left. Now, walking up here, I'm thinking I'm right by the flag. Well, mine hit the hill and spun all the way back down right in front of Jerry. So, still sitting pretty here. I'm thinking. So, I gave him the putt. Thinking I got a, just an easy two putt here. Just uphill, just lag it up there. Shouldn't be an issue, right? Okay, so that was pretty bad. Still not a problem. And then I do that. It's just disgusting. Putter, dang it. That was bad. All right, so I know you love golf, but Tom, what would you be doing if golf didn't exist? I would probably be have more of a year-round um job in the probably in the ski industry but i have blue sky ski rental from december 1st to april 1st but usually between the two seasons i get most of november off and most of april off uh, what are you most proud of as far as accomplishments on and off the course the biggest thing is we brought a lot of change and improvement here in the last five years and i've had a great crew helping me and we were we were on a we were a struggling golf course um, when i took over and i'm very proud of the fact that we turned it all around and now we're a very profitable golf course awesome awesome improvement a lot more play um just a good a whole different ad atmosphere for everybody here we got a men's we club with 130 players every tuesday which is probably the biggest men's club on the Western Slope. I would I would bet on that. We've got a real strong ladies um, program going. It's getting better and better every year, trying to rebuild that back up. This was probably their best year ever. And uh, then our juniors, uh, we're getting a much more younger clientele all of a sudden too. Cool. And But we do have an older clientele here, but it's just guys have played here forever and ever and ever. And you know, so, and so We'll have uh, Mitch Kemper, he runs MK Golf Academy out of uh, Las Vegas National. He was um, Payne Stewart's caddy at one time. That's so cool. And he'll always tell you that he lost his best friend ever when Payne died. Um, but he'll come here during the summer and give lessons uh, through Glenwood Springs because it's so hot in Vegas that there is the sure. summer. So it's win-win for both of us. We don't have, we, we've got an in-house instructor that doesn't cost the course anything. It's, it's all his. And then when it slows down, he goes back to Vegas and, and, and just keeps on going. He takes what you have and works with it. Nice. And everybody loves his teaching um, technique. That's awesome. That's yeah. the best way to do it. Yeah, rest in peace, Payne Stewart. He set me up with Mitch. I am so looking forward to meeting him out in Vegas. So that's going to be another fun, 
fun go around. Now this is a short part three. No drone here. I thought it was closed, but there's just ropes around it because of the elk and the deer that get in there. Uh, hit it barely on the front right of the green. Jerry kind of shoved it to the right, and he's got a little chip in a putt. Yep, Jerry made a good shot up there. He's about 8 feet, uh, 25 feet. I thought this was uphill, but I blistered it in just a bad putt in general. I left myself about 6 feet for par. All right, so Jerry made a good chip here. He's got about an 8-footer to say par. Yep. That was clutch putt there, Jerry. Now I have a six footer after a miserable three putt. If I miss this, uh, I would contemplate slitting my own wrist. So hopefully I don't. Yep. Thank God. Game on now. There we go. <laughs> Who won an Aspen Glen? Jeez, if I didn't make that, it would have been bad. Anyway, ran it by. Got another little short par four coming up. All right, on to a par four. This is a dog leg left. It's 425. It's one of the longer ones here. This course is not long by any means, and in, we are at 6,000 feet as well, so the ball goes a lot farther. Great views. Look at the mountains here. You know, you got to come check this place out if you're anywhere in the area. Uh, there's a lot of other courses around here as well to check out. So uh, Jerry, once again, stripes it down the middle. Hit a good one here, guys. I don't know what's up with these shot tracers. They are a little bit temperamental sometimes. So, on to this shot. He left himself 175. Kind of sprayed it to the right a bit. Now, I didn't get his next shot. Missed it, but he chipped it over the green on the other side. I have a perfect 60-degree, 95-yard shot. I thought this was going in. I hit it to about 8 feet. All right, so there's my shot. Jerry just... Went over the green, just a little. He's right there. Oh, I almost did. Oh! That was all for show to try to make the birdie. All I had to do was two putt, and here we go. Finally, a little blood here, Jerry. Up one. On to the next. I'm gonna ask you five questions. Answer them as quick as you can. Okay. All right. Lowest round out here. Nine. Thirty-four. David Faraday or Johnny Miller? Faraday. Tiger or Jack? Tiger. Best major? Bastards. Best golf movie? Caddyshack. There you go. <laughs> Good job. All right. Let's get back to the action here. Straight away par five. Had a pretty good one here. It just was barely flirting with the trees, but went up on the left side of the fairway. And Jerry does what he always does. Right down the middle. Shot. He had about 220 here. He hit a hybrid and that hit a hard a run though. Hard draw and wound up pretty decent. Perfect number right here for me for the eight iron. All over this. All right, cool. All right. Thanks. All right, we got a little 40, 50 yarder here. Now, Jerry's friends were all watching him, so give him a little extra credit on this. He made a clutch shot. Shot. That way. There you go, short game. I got a little downhill left to right eagle putt. I'm thinking probably should make this here. Tap and bird. Even though I missed it, Jerry still has to make this here to tie the hole. Otherwise, he's going to be down two. Ah, try. Easy par. All right, number eight, par three, 155, and hit a wedge and got. Another lucky bounce. Oh my god, really? Another lucky bounce. 
again with the shot tracer. I'm not sure what's going on there. Wound up here, took a drop on the path, uh, hitting two, made a nice little chip. Thought it was really good. Uh, well done. Stop, ball. Alright, this is a must make for Jerry. I really root for him. Such a nice guy. Uh, had so much fun out here. He's got a lot of cool stories and he almost made it, but that was a good roll, Jerry. And a really fun match. I definitely will come back and visit him and stay in touch. He's a really good guy here. Get to know him. You guys, he's done a lot of work for this club. All right, there you have it, guys. That was a great match. Jerry's a great guy. Uh, introduced me to Payne Stewart's caddy. Uh, been there forever. I've never played the course. Guys, if you say you're a PGA professional, the head pro, whatever you are, I'm coming to play you straight up. That's just how it is. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I'm going to run across some people that play a lot, some people that don't. That's just how it goes. So stay tuned in. we got Rifle Creek coming up next. Kyle Daniels, everybody, and then Moab. So stay tuned in. All right, so we're about to do our 100-yard shot competition, and... Who is this, John? John Benzel, he was um, one of the original um, founders of the golf course, his family, and we just um, dedicated this to his, in his memory about awesome. a month or two ago. Awesome. And this is called Benzel Flat. This is the flattest part on the whole golf course, <laughs> and when he would play, this is where he would hit every shot. Really? Yep. That's so cool. Yep. Cool story. All right, you guys, I'm going to explain the rules again. I will come out with a set rules, but here's the thing. You get five shots. You take your best three shots. The lowest distance out of the three will win a 1,000. Dave Thompson had 15 feet, four inches, and that's still the mark to beat. So I'm not going to go too far into this. I'm just going to put the best numbers up there and put the mark to beat. So enjoy. I hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Uh, again, Rifle Creek next week and then Moab. So it's going to be some good stuff. Lowest round at this course. Say that again. Lowest round here. Lowest round. For nine. Here. For nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. You got a twenty-eight. Oh mine? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you meant. Uh, no, right. you. Oh me? Yeah. <laughs> lowest round. Yeah, lowest round. Thirty-five. Johnny Miller or David Faraday? David Faraday. Jack or Tiger? Yeah. Tiger. Best major. Tiger in the year he made that birdie on sixteen. Yeah. Uh, no, no best major out of the four. What's the, your favorite? But. Your, oh, what's what my favorite? Yeah. Masters. Okay. And last but not least, your favorite golf movie? Caddyshack. There you go. <laughs> That's cool. the same ones I had. Yeah. Awesome. That beat by one stroke. <laughs> All right, we are going up. This is golf course. a nine hole mountain course and the pro here said that he'll give me a better match than the other guy I'm playing today down at Rifle Next Creek so let's see what happens. Right. This is going to be interesting. Is this really it? Thank you. 